All right, so we finally got some rain here in Portland, Oregon. It's the middle of September. To quench all those forest fires, we had ash blowing in the shop uh, for the last week or so. It's nice. I hate to say it. It's dropped 10 degrees, 12 degrees, and rain. I don't usually look forward to the rain, but this time I do. Uh, today, what's on the docket is this. This is a Ford Escape. This one happens to be a hybrid. And I don't know if this is a common problem or not, but we're gonna go through it. So, um, let me get up there. This car came in with a, a light on. Let's see if I can get it on. Service brake system. So the, let me shut the right here. So the service brake system light is on and the ABS, the yellow light over there is on. Um, so what I did is I put up on the lift and I pulled some of the wheels off. And let's go down and look. I think we're gonna figure this out pretty easily. Oh, I gotta jump down. So this car has um, four wheel anti-lock brakes. It has two reluctors on one on each of the front wheels and then one for the rear axle. But what usually happens, oh, look at that. Some smart mechanic has already got the wheel off and has a light shining right here. So the way this works, this is your ABS sensor. This little sensor guy right here with the wire that kind of runs up. And just behind it, you have got what's called a tone ring, which is this piece right here. And if you can see, it's broken. This car has got some rust. I don't know if you can see that or not, the rotor. Um, has accumulated some rust, so it's been in a salt climate for a while. And this tone ring, right there, see that? It's split right in the middle there. So we've got three options. We can replace the drive axle that comes with the new tone ring. We can replace the tone ring, or I can simply try to fix this. And what I'll do is clean this area up, get rid of the rust, um, pinch that together with a pair of vice grips and weld it back on. I'm gonna to try to weld it and see if that works. If not, I'll put a new axle in it. See how it's sprung? Now what happens is the tone ring, hi Stella, hi, right, right in the middle of the video here. Um, it can't read the wheel speed. Can you get out of the way? Can you get out of the way? It can't read the wheel speed and so it ch triggers the lights in the front there. I gotta get up because the dog is trying to lick my face. Hey, stop. So, um, these are really good rigs. You see them all over the place, but uh, I guess that might be a common problem. I'm not sure. This is the first time I've encountered a tone ring breaking. It's very simple, uh, I guess, in theory to fix. Um, maybe you could JB weld it, I don't know. But the best fix is probably to replace the axle so you get a brand new tone ring. Tone rings are, I think, hard to find by themselves and you have to take the thing apart to replace the tone ring anyways. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's. Um, See if we can weld that up and I'll do a report, uh, a report video to see if that fixed it. All right. All right, so we're a little further along on this project. We're working on this 2006 Ford Escape hybrid and we're repairing the tone ring which was causing the ABS light, four wheel drive light and the brake service light to come on. So you can see I took my trusty welder. I have a little Lincoln gasless, uh, no gas but it has a really thin tip and I was able to pinch, I'll show you here, take the, the tone ring with a pair of needle nose vice grips and clamp it together so that the ring came back together and then I basically ran a weld right through there and filled up the gap between those two teeth and then I took a grinder with a thin blade like this, real thin cutter blade and I just got in there and I recut the groove, you can see I nicked the, the hub there. Shouldn't do any damage, but I didn't want to cut the boot. So I re-grooved the, I guess the low part of the, the tone ring. Um, it feels real tight. Um, this was a really rusty area. I had a hard time getting a ground on the welder. So I took a, a 3M pad, cleaned up around there, took a wire brush and then a brass brush and tried to get it as clean as possible. You have to have clean metal to make a good weld. So let's put it back together and see if the light goes off. All right, I've got the wheels up in the air just a little bit. And uh, we're gonna go in here and see if I repair 
is complete. I don't know if it'll reset because the wheels are in the air. Sometimes the ABS system has a hard time with that. If not, we'll take it out in the parking lot and drive it. Let's put the key in. So the engine is on. Steering wheel straight here. Light still says service brake. Put it in gear and see what happens. Okay, we're going. Well, I don't know. We may have to disconnect the battery. We may have to take it for a drive. I'll check back in a second and see what's going on. All right, so kind of as I thought, I backed it out of the shop and drove it 20 feet and the light went off. All four wheels have to turn and on the lift, sometimes the rear drive doesn't work right or something. Um, anyhow, it's just, the light is now off. We should be good to go. I'm gonna go for a test drive. I didn't even have to use my code scanner. I was gonna try to shut it off that way, um, but everyone should be happy. Thanks for watching.